Hi. On this video, we are, we are going to give more one step towards our, our goal, which is a crash course in Biomathematics. By now, hopefully, you already know me, or you already have some knowledge about my about myself, about my background, and so on. So this video is a is an introduction the, for the for the crash course in Biomathematics. The previous video was an uh, introduction for the YouTube channel, so I give some details and also as well discuss some some ideas about biomathematics. So you are invited to visit the, the, the previous video if you are interested. So here, uh, this the introduction I have decided to divide it, to split it on on two in two parts. One is a technical detail, the second one will be more focused to biomathematics. Just I'm, I'm planning to discuss two material. One is a paper that I have sent to publication, it's a short paper, two pages. The second one is a paper that I, I am developing in partnership with a professor from Luxembourg. It's a still uh, ongoing research, so I'm not quite sure if I'm going to get to the end because the paper is a little bit ambitious. However, I believe that the, the content of the paper so far is already a simple publication can be as already used in this kind of field of project in which the the divulgation, the understanding of biomathematics is essentially the key issue instead of have the a big a big idea. So basically I like to think science as a as a as a two two to add the sword in, in, one, in one edge you cut, in the other one basically uh, in the one you teach, in the other one you develop. So here we are in the, in the, the side of teaching rather than developing a big, big idea. So uh, basically Bible effect is quite complicated if you try to teach it. Uh, if you try to define the mathematics, I saw that um, according to my experience about me so far, I have not seen too, uh, too many mate uh, materials trying to define it, trying to put uh, it in a, in a simple picture. We see a huge amount of people doing that, such as uh, recently, I mean, I would say um, uh, four years ago, or maybe even more, I, maybe even less year, not quite sure about when it will happen. I, I, I decided to try to give a set of it about about computational biology. It's, it's about that as, as, as well, but in a, from different framework. So the biggest challenge there in still in biomedical phase is the same that you see, you see a huge amount of people doing biomedical, but you do not see people trying to define it. For uh, someone that do biomedical, there's no need to define. They they already know what it is. It's a kind of implicit knowledge. They, uh, it's a, it, even boring when someone trying to find biomedical, someone to already use it. It's it's more or less. Uh, I don't know if you are familiar with people that work in small towns. I'm from a small town, my family is from all, the, all of my family from small towns. And the people in small town, my mom is one example, they used to do stuff for the, their whole life. And they sometimes they do it very well, even better than uh, the professional. One example could be the case of the, uh, the case of the, of, of the, of giving birth. As the story goes, the the empirical women that used to give birth, that was not a doctor, was just someone that used to give birth, that it was a tradition, they used to have a rate of the, of success of the, they called the the I think it was the, the bad the bad fever that most of the mother used to have after the, the baby was born. They the rate of the infection in the doctor was it was two percent, more or less two percent. In the in the rate of, of the infection in the in the in the empirical one or the empirical we, we, women that was responsible for that was less than one percent. So it's a kind of but they, they, they could not explain why. So that in that case was born the the germ theory in which he, the theory that you have microorganisms which is bacteria it's one that can can cause infection. So that was an example that I believe is out there have a lot of things in which people do stuff very well. 
but they don't know why, they cannot explain, they cannot even teach. So you can say the bounce metric is more or less is faced more or the same. It has a huge, a huge amount of people doing it, doing it very well, but uh, they cannot explain it. Why should you explain something that is going very well? Because uh, uh, like uh, addiction, if you get addicted to a job, you get addicted to, a, to any stuff in your life, you do it well until a time, then you start to do it very badly because you do not have any more creativity, you do not have any more change. So our life has been a, a equilibrium between plasticity and stability. So we have to teach and learn so all the time. So this kind of uh, initiative that I'm doing here is trying to put is my ambition, is trying to make biomathematics a little bit more easier to understand to everyone, independent of, independent of the background, so they can give contribution. If they, they did not understand very well, they can at least talk about it. One example is my case. I love to talk about the general theory of liberty, relativity. I love to talk about the theories of Einstein, but I had never studied formally. All, all that I know I, about this stuff is uh, is from books and the movies and the documentaries. All of them uh, they try to put in a very simple way something that's very complex. So by putting it in a simple way, we expect that people from general background can at least talk about it, can at least have a, 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 a let's say uh, let's say it uh, an idea what is it. Even they do not make biomathematics, they know what biomathematics does and they can respect it and even can criticize because we need to criticize everything. So let's take one example that he, I used to, 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 let's say, before I was at biomathematics, I even knew that biomathematics existed. I loved biology, but I have no idea about the existence of biomathematics. That when I was surprised when I discovered about the when I discovered the existence of the biomedical continuing, I was at the end of my graduation. So I tried to apply to a course. Of course, I was not selected. I didn't have the background for that. And the, but later, all I had opportunity to shift to a, a course of biomedical continuing. But I had another uh, another proposal that was better. And then I decided to shift to other proposal. But anyway. Uh, one example I like to allow to talk about is my uh, when I was a, uh, a, a tutor. I was tutoring, tutoring physics and, and mathematics and chemistry and so on. One example is very nice because when I when I teach in physics to someone, I know that one of the biggest problems they they want to remember by heart all the all the formula, all the all the concept, all the laws, everything by heart. And it was a big mistake. I, I know that everyone came to me asking for help. Sometimes I helped for free, sometimes I was paid for that because I need money and so on. And uh, I know that the, big, uh, the biggest, the, the trap, the flaw of most of the people that came to me asking for help, that they expect to treat physics like uh, I like could do if uh, history and geography. You can remember a huge amount of concept and you can apply it and you get a, a good grade examination. How physics they fade a lot to doing this kind of strategy. The reason is quite simple that physics is based on law. If you, for the, if you, if you have a small set of laws, you can solve a huge amount of problems. So, if you solve 10, 10 problems in physics and you solve one, uh, more 100, so in the end you have 110 uh, problems that you have solved, and the, uh, you, you then in the end, if you try to, 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 to ask yourself why, suppose you solved it. In the, in, the, in the right way, you, you, you could ask yourself, well, how was possible that from 10 I shift to 110? So the only thing that will change, I hope so, that will be uh, the amount of work you have to do, so the, the, the hand work, because the concept, the brain work at all didn't change. So it will be, in, in most of them you have to apply the laws of Neil, the laws of Kepler, and so on. So that's the, that's the, the brilliant, brilliant think about physics is that we change the number of problems but you don't change the knowledge the knowledge is the same so the same knowledge that you apply to understand the rock the same knowledge you apply to understand the, uh, the falling of a stone the, the same knowledge you apply to derive the laws of the uh, of the uh, of a kind of movement so that's the magic of physics the big knowledge uh, the can, can is shrank in a small sense it's called laws principles theorems so uh, I'll try to, uh, that's the, the, as, uh, I hope that you, you have uh, 
I mean, I like to repeat some stuff that is important. I'm sorry if it may be boring sometime, but this is an empirical course. So I'm, it's a course that is supposed to be just an experiment. So I, I, in, uh, I have decided to put another ingredient in this experiment to see what happens. I try to come back with some slides, some webinars about the, some laws of physics. For example, I, I, I can I, I derive, I try to derive the laws the, the equation for a string, a verbatim string, using the laws of Newton. So I'll try to take the same law and derive the equation for the movement of a, of a column. You have a column, have a column of, of, of air, of, of water, and you can derive a, a one dimension, for example, that is easier, one dimension equation for that, for the pressure, how the pressure change. So you see that the, uh, uh, the knowledge from one problem to the other, they are quite different. If you, if you see a string vibrating and you see a column of, of air moving forward, you create a kind of wave, they are completely different. I don't know if you have this kind of experiment in, which you, in, your, in your house. If you have a small apartment, depend on the day, if the day is hot, because when, when the day is hot, the temperature is high, is higher. That's a principle from physics. So if you close one door, sometimes the, the other door open. So that's a pressure. It's a, it's a wave that is traveling. It's not, so it's, a, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a ghost. Your house is not, it's not haunted. It just means that you have a, a, a place to work as a tool, as a, you know, in which pressure can travel in a specific direction. It creates force far away. So all of this can be solved by the laws of Newton. So that's brilliant. But however, we don't have this kind of stuff in the, in the, in physics. Uh, sorry, in biology, medicine. If you read, if you read in biology, one hundred paper, it's incredible that the, all this paper they will be complete. The, the, if you divide in theory, in idea, there will be even two thousand, no, uh, two hundred ideas. So the, the idea is more than the, the paper in some some case. So that's crazy. So. Uh, uh, what I, I, my ambition to see in the future, not just mine, is for, as well for people in system biology, for my biomathematics and biophysics and so on. The ambition that they, that they, they, they have, and the, I, I completely agree with this kind of idea, is supposed to shrink, to diminish, to, to put all these kind of ideas in, in principles. And they are out there somewhere, but you don't know. So that's one of the purposes of, the, of, of biomathematics, biophysics and so on, is to create laws in, the, uh, in biology and medicine. So the question is why physics is so brilliant. For instance, uh, if, the second, if, the, if the second law of Newton can derive, as I said before, the movement of the rock, the stone, the water pressure, and so on, as I said before, I plan to come to come back here in the future with, uh, with new ideas. For example, if some kind of examples from physics that has, has nothing to do with problem of matter, that, that example from physics. So the idea is not to, that, that case. Yeah, so each webinar and which slide you have a, a, a purpose. So the purpose of the slide that are being here about physics, not to teach physics, neither to teach uh, biomathematics, to tell to, to, to convince you. So I'm supposed that you are not from from physics, neither you are from from from, from any other similar, such as if you are a biologist and if you are um, a doctor or so on, I, I suppose you are not familiar with this kind of idea. So I would like to show you in a set of videos, I should hope it will be very easy, how you can see that the one law can be used for solving several problems. So if you just one law, law you can find several several, uh, several, several formulas different. So you, you can you might say that I can find the internet. Yes, you can find it in YouTube. It's kind of stuff. But I believe that by doing myself, I can I can design it such a way that I can make uh, the uh, the the usage of formula the central key issue in the video rather than the mathematics itself. So for uh, another thing that's very nice, the uh, the laws of the law. Of the of Einstein, the general theory of relativity, and the the special theory of relativity, they are the, there's a huge mathematics behind the, the, the series, especially the second one, the general theory of relativity. It's very complicated. However, 
you can summarize in a simple way. What it say? It say that if you have a clock, this clock is close to a, 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 a close to mass, the clock go faster. It means that if, the, if you have a, your clock close to the Earth and your clock close to Jupiter, in Jupiter the time you go faster, so you get older, much 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 faster or much older in Jupiter than you be in Earth. So that's very simple. So the huge mathematics is summarized in a single uh, principle, in a single idea that even uh, as I should say, even his great man can understand it. Even a child can understand that if you put a clock, uh, so, uh, let's put that he accepts it. So if you accept it as, as, as truth, it just seems that if you, if you have a clock in Earth and a clock in Jupiter, the, the clock in Jupiter will go faster. That's that thing. Suppose you can, you can you can be alive in Jupiter. Jupiter is full of radiation, as you can see from the from the from the from the picture. The aurora of Jupiter is very strong. Well, another example in physics is the, is the, the, the equation of Schrödinger. Schrödinger designed one equation is more or like the same size of the Newton's equation, and this case is supposed to describe the whole universe. However, nowadays we have problem because in one hand is in one corner we have Einstein, in the other corner we have Schrödinger. So I don't get any details, but it's it so that how the beauty of physics. So, but the the true question is, can we really? Are we, are, are we, uh, because if you see. There's a very nice uh, book called the, uh, the Music of the Prime Numbers. It tells the story how the prime numbers today is a mystery. No one knows the formula for the prime numbers. So uh, the, the formula of the prime numbers define the mind of the biggest scientists all over the world. So they try to explain how it happened. And it was very nice to see that it, it happened in such a way that it, all the scientists were, uh, uh, were unable to explain it. So it is uh, uh, it, something very similar to what happened today if the if 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 the universe in one corner you have Einstein give the equation, another corner have Schrödinger. So there are two different ways to to understand the the universe, to understand our reality, but none of them is able to explain it precisely. So it so uh, so it, that's one example of the. Of the of of the beauty of the or, or, or what mathematics can do. So basically, the the content. I mean, uh, I have the uh, remember that the, that same empirical course. I'm still making the, uh, I, the course is being designed, designed and developed as we speak. So I have decided now to divide it in three parts. In the first one, have the, the, the methodological procedure. Second one, have the toy models. Toy model, what is a toy model? Toy model is a model that's very simple. They, they can teach you, uh, teach you, teach you principles and so on, but they cannot teach you, uh, they cannot be applied to your case. In, in, the, in the third one, you have advanced model. Just a minute, I would like to come back here because I still have one point to put here, I have forgotten. So as I was explaining here, I was explaining here about the, 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 the general law applied and the, it cannot be applied to, to every kind of problem. So, so that was, uh, so you, you have here the, this kind of, uh, the, the, uh, so basically we have the, the, the part one, part two and part three. So they are defined this kind of the idea is to organize, uh, to organize in such a way that uh, you can uh, uh, you can arrive to 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 the to, to best performance. So uh, as I was Scottish is discussing here, we have uh, two equations. One is Schrödinger, the other one is Einstein. They are Schrödinger applied to electron, small particles, wave particles. For the, uh, small particles and so on. On the other hand, ice is applied to big planet, to big cobas such as planet, uh, everything that can can he, can he cause some effect in the in the, in the fabric of the time space. So the, the the good question is, can we do the same with biology and medicine? That's a good question. So, uh, as I was explaining before, there's a, a very nice book called the, 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 the Music of the Prime Numbers. In that book, they have shown that uh, how beautiful it was 
the how the prime the sequence of the prime numbers the, the series of the prime number define the best biggest brain of all time Gauss uh, Hilbert uh, all this kind of big brain they were defined they failed to find the formula to to the prime numbers so uh, why one succeed bet more than the other one of the conclusions the book found and I agree as well that the, the right question will give you the right answer. If you do, if, if you do the, the, the wrong question, you are, going never, you are not going never to find the answer. So that's a lesson of the book. So the lesson more or less what I face now. Are you doing the same question about biology medicine? Can we really make the same kind of general biology and physics? That's an open problem. We don't know. So uh, the, uh, there's a, a very nice paper that the, unfortunately the author of the paper I got in contact with her, uh, Sarah Green, and he, she was very nice, he was very nice, so much she's very busy. But like so, I'm going to, 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 to take the position and to present the paper to you. I read the paper by accident, I found the paper by accident. The paper posed a very interesting point that maybe we need to relax, to, to relax on the concept of general laws. We need to rethink what is the general law. Of course, it, in the end, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we are change the we, we are change the way we think instead of uh, make the universe behave the way we think. It could be not, not necessarily wrong. I think we should say that uh, the, uni the universe we never work the way you think. You have to think the way they work. More or less, I should say this kind of idea. So, uh, more or less, the so. The, the conclusion that we need to we, we think whether we can or not can make general to biology. But the, it doesn't mean that we have to give up and have to stop looking for that. As I read once I read in a book about calculus that was uh, written by a, a guy that was very, I believe was very famous and he wrote like this. There is no big pathway without a big reward. So, a world we always come to a big search. So uh, I believe we still keep, we still, we still should keep uh, trying to do our best to make physics to be as close as possible to biology, yeah. uh, to make biology close as possible to physics. More or less what happens nowadays. Nowadays we have a similar wave in physics called the superstring theory or the unified unified field theory, which was started by Einstein by his called the, the Einstein dream. So. Basically, uh, what you have on this on this big idea, they they are trying to find the general law that can be applied to everywhere, to any kind of particle, to any particle at all. So they don't know if they are going to find. They have proposed that everything is done, is made of energy, strings of energy. So as one of the guys said from the, from the University of Texas, and the you know, the University of of, of the Austin, Austin, Texas, more or less like that, not it quite well. But he said like this, even if in the end we are wrong, we will have a beautiful mathematics behind that. So that is simple to biology. Even the, in the end we realize that biology cannot be reduced to precise laws as we have done in physics. At least in the end we have beautiful mathematics to biology. And beautiful ideas to biology. So in the end, we, we should go on, but keep your eyes open that maybe it's not possible. So as I was explaining before, the course divided into three parts: part one, part two, and part three. In part one, you have the methodological procedure, scientific procedure, procedures. You have the toy mod. Toy mods are more that they are not uh, are not applicable enough, but they are they are, they, they they are very 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 important. The, so this is one example in which we are close to physics. Physics love to play toy mode. I don't know if you have studied physics. If you study physics, quantum mechanics, for instance, quantum mechanics when you want to study electron going around a set of of atom, what you do? You put some kind of spike, some kind of Dirac function, the, which are just a spike. So we, uh, we say that the atom is a spike, is a, is a bar. So that's a toy model. However, big conclusion can arrive, can be arrived to with toy models. So if in bio, in bio we have more or less the same. We have toy models. Toy models are more that are not applicable in reality, but they can teach you a lot. 
advanced model is in, in, in the case in which we take the toy model and make it more advanced. In this case, they, they will be very complicated. In some cases, they are even possible to see the solution. They, for example, in some cases, you have to use softwares and the, you don't know what's behind the software, but you be trust it. So they fall in the trap that you, uh, once uh, uh, there was a famous scientist, I don't know, I think it was a free man, he said that the, sometimes in physics you have to ch trust in, th in, th in third one, third party, third party knowledge because you cannot test everything. So biology are going to, uh, we, we certainly face the same, to, uh, in phase the same, but it's, they are going to increase. To a certain point you cannot test everything, so you have to use software, you have to use uh, mathematics such as stochastic models, but you, you, you do not need to test everything, you do not need to reinvent the wheel, you have to trust. So in the in the methodological in the, in the methodological scientific procedures, we are going to discuss very important as I'm, I'm planning to separate one webinar for mass conservation, one webinar to energy conservation, one webinar to compartment models, and so on. So this kind of uh, principles, ideas, and so on, they are extremely important to, to biology. Uh, they are everywhere, but in general, people take as granted that, uh, that everyone knows it, So, but it's not necessarily true. So uh, in general, I have never seen a book, and maybe it exists out there, a book that gives an emphasis to this kind of principle. Maybe it's time to, to redesign the way the book, the way, the way you teach about mathematics. Instead of teaching the problems, as in general, the book, the books are doing, should teach the principles. So that we, we are going to make, uh, we re, really go towards, uh, towards, uh, towards a physics that is closer, a bi a bi close to physics. So we have some useful techniques that the, uh, the biomethodists apply all the time. The point that the, uh, I have noticed, most of, most of the biomethodists come from, from mathematics. So as it's obvious that they are going to take as granted most of the stuff they do. So, uh, I'm, I, so in this quarter, it is not to take anything as granted. It has to be self-contained. So, Ruji is a very powerful math. It's very simple. You can do it at home. I have I have used a lot. It's not even a comp you just need a, a computer, a, a programming language. Unfortunately, I'm 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 a, I'm a fan of Java. I and I use MATLAB. I'm not a fan of MATLAB, but I use it. So I'm going to teach some techniques on Java. The simple technique. Java is very easy to use. It's free. You have this download. I'm going to teach you how to download it, how to store it. If you have a doubt, you can get in touch with me. MATLAB is a very nice powerful software, it's, it's not free, but you can, uh, if you are in a university, you can have access. In general, you can uh, ask someone from the from your department to give you a license, because the, the, the university buy a license, and we, we, if you comply to their terms, you can use it. In general, the MATLAB you can download it to a student version. In general, they are, you, usually you have one month to use it. Or I don't know, maybe you can even find a simple, a simple version that can be used for more than that. The difference between Java and MATLAB is very simple. Java is an open code, so you have to do everything. MATLAB, you have things done. So let's say uh, techniques, uh, techniques that are very useful to solve analytically. Analytically, what is the difference between numerical and analytically? Analytically means that you have a formula, a beautiful formula then you can just solve it by hand. So here, you don't need com you do not need computer. Here, you, you need computer. However, unfortunately, most of the problems fall here. You need computer. Analytically, you cannot do too much. So, uh, 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 let's say, uh, I, I intend to discuss a model modeling strategy because, uh, as I said, as, I, as I'm, 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 I'm like repeating and stressing, I do not intend to take anything as granted on this on the set of on this course. So it's, it simply means that the, that the, uh, simply mean that the, simply mean that the, we are uh, we are going to try to define everything, not I mean, uh, try to put at least in a, in a simple way. 
So, uh, toy models in the include classical models, such as the Prey Predator model, which is a very simple model that is very useful. It's incredible how those models can be very useful. Probably that I have faced my own, on my own life, and such as my, my theory of mass of science, I have studied in expression. Uh, in the beginning of my PhD, I have studied pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics, and so on. All of these are very nice examples. And furthermore, uh, one of the, the persons that are involved somehow in some level to this, to this, to, to this project is a professor of, of pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics. So I believe that he, he will be very useful. Uh, I'm, he's not a biomechanician, biomechanician, but at least he'll be useful to be sure that you are using well the concept of pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. Possibly you can design a problem to ensure that buffmet can be easily applied. And uh, let's say maybe you can use, as well include here more methodological uh, procedure. Because uh, that this, uh, the, the, uh, the crash course is going to be centered not on the problem, but rather on the buffmet itself as an abstract idea. So uh, I'm going to give a huge emphasis on methodological procedure, which means on general principles, not on the problems. Advanced models, such as I came talking about recently in the, in the beginning of my PhD, I was done. I studied. I studied in a very, let's say, a very I try a very meticulous way. Uh, a dynamic was published by a group from I think it was from MIT or Harvard. I'm not quite sure, but uh, they, they, they 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 put forward a very nice mathematical model of leptin dynamics. As well, the group that I'm working right now, they are, they, they are kind of masters of the glucose control that are on the top of my current research. So I can bring some problem about that. And the, as well, maybe we can time to design some model and so on. So here I'm finished, but I would like to show you something more, which is just a curiosity. So let's see if we can find it here. So basically that's what I, I would like to show you. That is a website in which you can you can answer questions, and that's me. I, I like to answer questions sometimes as well. I, I love to answer questions, discuss with people. So here I just to discuss for you one of the questions I have answered. Someone asked why the what what does it mean of to say that Kepler's law are empirical in nature? Kepler's law, there are three laws that Kepler designed. Kepler, he honest Kepler, who was a very famous scientist, that he, uh, if together with Tycho Brahe, he was able to, to lay down the, the laws of the, the planetary laws that today is, is still used a lot. So, basically, what Kepler, so uh, why I put this question here? The point is that he, you can say that biology is empirical. So, the, the, the true question is why biology, biology is, is, is empirical science? The same way that the, the laws of Kepler is empirical. So that's the point why I'm, I'm bringing bring up this question here. So it means that it was created from induction rather than deduction. Induction means that you, you use knowledge to generate, to, to generate a theory. Which is not, which is the case that unfortunately biology is not even in this stage. Unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, people make experiments, but they did not create abstraction. So the uh, biology itself is not even even in that stage. It takes complete experimental science. Deduction we, uh, is the is the is the let's say the the the, the ultimate stage of biomechanics. If you arrive to this point, I hope so. Which means that he, deduction means that you, you know a set of principles and you make a kind of a, of guess. That was what Einstein did. Einstein compared basically in theory. He, he didn't do a, a single experiment. He was still a student. Then he was still an employee on the patent office in, 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 in Berlin and so on. So he was, he was somehow uh, no one. And the, he compared the theory of Maxwell with the theory of Newton. And he saw that wasn't it wrong. Just compared two theories, so that's a deduction. On the case of, of Kepler, Kepler saw uh, used a set of experiments that he that he 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 he, he was able to get forget from Tim O'Brien that he worked together they worked together for a while. From this this data he was able to to create his law about the planetary motion. So that, 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 that's the induction from the experiment 
he was he he went to the theory. So that's a cycle I have created in my when I was still making my thesis of mass of science. So that's a cycle in which you have observation, abstraction, theory, prediction, so on. We should make biology go around this cycle, which is a challenge. So that's all for today, and I hope we uh, we are going to come back in the future.